The function f is defined by that. What is the difference between the maximum and minimum values of f given that we have this domain of negative 3 or negative 2 to 3? If you know calculus, you could do this by using calculus. You can do it analytically. But of course, calculus is not required for this test. So what we'll do instead is graph this, find the minimum and maximum values, and then subtract them. So be very careful putting in your coefficients here. Make sure to put some parentheses around them so we can keep the fractions intact. You also could use decimals, but whatever works. So we'll do 1 half x squared minus 5 fourths x plus, I'll make this one a decimal, 1.5. What I'll do next is I'll go to my window. Well, I'll set my zoom as standard. And then I'm going to set my window to negative two, between negative 2 and 3 for my x values. And hopefully my y will be good, but let's see what we got. Okay. Perfect. So here's my maximum value. Here's my minimum. Let's use the calculator to find out those values. First, we'll do the maximum. Okay, so we gotta get, again, your calculator might have a completely different way of doing this. So obviously, if you've got a TI-83+, plus, which is unlikely, I think this one's kind of old, you'll be able to follow this method, but if you have a different calculator, you'll have to find out the way to use yours. Uh, for this one, we get y is equal to 2.05. 2.05. And now we'll find the minimum. If you don't know how to use your calculator and you don't have a teacher who can help you or a friend who can help you, go online. They usually have the directions either on various websites. You can sometimes find the manuals. Uh, and if all else fails, you can contact me and I can help you. But I would have to learn how to use the calculator myself and you know, we'll figure it out together if worse comes to worse. But definitely try to exhaust all possibilities before you come to me because I only know this calculator. So I don't, won't be able to help you that much with yours. So the minimum here is y equals negative 1.02. So now I'll subtract the minimum and the maximum. So what's the difference between them? So I'll do 2.05 minus 1 .0, negative 1.02. That's just the same thing as plus 1.02. So we get 3.07. Choice D. I hate questions like this because there's not much math knowledge to it. It's really just plug and chug in the calculator. But if you know how to do it, it's an easy point.